Welcome to Raja Online Trainings. In the series of Hibernate 6 version, Hibernate tutorial, let us go with one more new topic and very, very important one Hibernate criteria. So, what is this criteria? It's like applying some conditions. If you are having some records to pull out the records based on some condition, like example, if you take employee table, we want to pull out only the records whose salary is greater than 10,000, whose salary is less than 10,000. Like that you want to apply some conditions you want to sort the uh, records present in your uh, database table such type of things we can manage by using this hibernate criteria so you can select hibernate criteria api allows to build up a criteria query object programmatically where we can apply filtration rules and logical conditions we can apply the filtration rules like where condition and we can even go with the logical conditions like and and or operators we can use here then how to create this criteria is in hibernate 6 version i'm discussing this hibernate 6 version to create criteria we use criteria builder interface so this in hibernate 6 in the older versions like hibernate 4 5 like that we use it to use the interface criteria interface to go for criteria but that has been removed from hibernate 6 version in hibernate 6 version in order to create criteria we need to make use of criteria builder interface like example here we create reference criteria builder cb equal to session dot great get criteria builder then use the interface criteria query and on which entity table on which entity class we are applying this so what is the entity class name i'm taking here the project class name employee then cr equal to cb what is cb here the reference of criteria builder cb dot create query and connect with the persistent class the project class employee dot class then the next step here we have to use the root to get the records from the table so root employee the entity class name root equal to cr dot from employee dot class then this will connect to the employee table pull out all the records from your employee table to get all the records just we have to call the method cr.select root since this root is connected to this employee.class which internally connects to your employee table in our example employee info table when you call the method cr.select root all the records are now present in this cr now to get the records we have to use this query interface query query equal to session.create query and pass your cr reference and to get the records just to say list employee employee list equal to query dot get result set so when you call this method query dot get result set since we have applied the condition cr dot select root and we did not apply any restrictions over here or we did not apply any filtration rules it's going to pull out all the records from your table and that is now present in this employee list now traverse the employee list using this enhanced for loop for employee emp colon employee list then print the object system dot 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 print in emp so this is going to display all the records of your employee info table on our console let me show this complete example program see here we are having this entity class poja class employee with the properties employee id employee name and salary set as in getter methods and we marked it as the entity and we are mapping to the table employee info table and if you see the table select a star from employee info now the objective is to pull out all the records of this employee table into hibernate and display it on console and we want to do using hibernate criteria now let us see the code so for this in this com.hibernate6.test package let us create a new class criteria demo i'm going with the class name criteria demo with main method get the session factory first session factory session factory equal to 
hibernate util dot get session factory so you can find how to create this hibernate util and how to call this method to get the session factory in the previous videos then session session equal to session factory dot open session now once we get the session now let us create the criteria so what interface we have to use here criteria builder pb equal to session dot get criteria builder all the method get criteria builder now go with criteria query which entity class here employee cr equal to cb dot create query create query and pass your entity class name employee dot class Use the interface root employee root equal to tr dot from will connect to your employee dot class. Now to get the list of records, to get all the records, just to call the method cr dot select pass your root over here. Put the packages. Criteria builder CB equal to session dot get criteria builder a small type of mistake. Now, now since this CR is connected to this employee dot class which connects to employee info table based on the mapping part here. So we are not applying any condition when you say CR dot select root, it's going to pull out all the records from the table. Now create reference of query. Query query equal to session dot create query and pass your CR. And say to get the list of records, list employee, employee list equal to call the method query dot get a result set. Get result list here. Import the packages java.util.list. Now traverse your employee list. How to traverse by using this enhanced for loop for employee emp colon employee list and in system dot dot print the line just to print the object emp then session dot close. That's it. Let us run this application. Run this application. So when you run this application, it's going to connect to your employee info table. It's going to connect to your employee info table to pull out all the records from the table. And it is displaying, see, the class name along with some hash code. Because whenever you print objects in SPOP, so whenever we print objects in SPOP, it's going to invoke which method? Two-string method. So we have to override the two-string method in our entity class employee dot class here so in this one let us override the two string method public string two string whenever we print objects in system dot order print link it is going to invoke two string method implicitly so we have to override two string method in our project class employee so where we return employee id space employee name space employee salary that's it now come back to your criteria demo Run this code once again. So, which is going to display all the records of our employee table. Right? So, this is the way we are going to work with the criteria API in Hibernate 6 version. Whatever version we are discussing is Hibernate 6 version. Then, how we use it to manage this? How we use it to manage this? Prior to Hibernate 6 version is, I am writing the code in comments here. Prior hibernate 6 version creating criteria so for this one we have to make use of 
criteria interface directly we use criteria interface criteria cr equal to session dot create criteria and connect to your persistent class then to get the list of record simply say list employee employee list equal to cr dot list that's it this is going to pull out all the records from your table this employee info table and once it pull out the records traverse your records present in this employee list the private objects present in this employee list so this is the way we use it to manage period to hibernate 6 version by using this criteria interface directly but from this hibernate 6 version we have to make use of criteria builder right now in the next video we will be seeing how to apply the restrictions how to apply the conditions how to do the filtration part on your entity classes on your database tables so we have to apply some condition like where condition how to make use of like method how to do the sorting process of your table all those things we'll be seeing in the next video please subscribe like and share thank you